Hi there, I'm Jill. If we haven't met and if we have, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a short flow for you that's going to be focused on sensing your body weight. You'll need a cushion and your mat. See you in just a second. Go ahead and join me on your back with your knees bent and make sure that you have a cushion for supporting your head. <clears throat> it's going to be particularly challenging to sense where you're at if you have some tightness in your upper body and you're laying on the floor without any head support. So if you need to pause me, go ahead and do that and grab what you need. And then let's just start by shifting our attention to our foot connection to the mat. See if you can sense the domes of both feet and just where they're connecting to the ground or to your mat. You might need to make an adjustment and then kind of settle in. And then just notice where your arms fall naturally. They can be anywhere that's comfortable so you can allow them to be out side of the kind of frame of your torso or bring them across your body maybe or you could even take the heels of your hands and rest them on your eye sockets if that's comfortable and as we settle in here we are going to begin with some visualization and breath awareness so Take an inward journey with me and let's see if we can shift our focus to our pelvis. And just notice if you can sense the weight of your pelvis. And notice if maybe one side has more weight on it than the other side and without making any major adjustments, just see if there's some subtle intrinsic correction that can happen to allow your weight to settle evenly on both sides of your pelvis where you're connecting to the mat. And then let's shift our internal gaze to our rib cage and just notice where that's at. Notice if you can feel maybe where the back side of your ribs are connecting to the mat. So if you're, um, if you wear a bra, perhaps it might be in that vicinity. Otherwise, just the back side of your ribs. And notice any connection any weighted feeling that they have reaching down towards the mat. And then draw your inward gaze to your head. And can you notice the weight of your head? And again, can you notice if maybe it's slightly tilted or off kilter? And if you're not aware, that's okay. And then you can either leave your hands where they're at or you can change them up a bit if you'd like. We're going to take a breathing trip around our torso. So let's begin with a nice kind of calm, deep um, abdominal breath. I like to think of this as an organ slide. So on the inhale, the entire content of your torso, your guts and everything are going to gently move downward towards your pubic bone. And as you exhale, the entire contents of your torso and abdomen are going to move up towards your diaphragm. So we have an inhale and our organs move down and an exhale and our organs glide up and back. Just taking it on your own time. Inhale to glide down. And exhale to glide up.
and again inhale to glide those organs down and exhale to allow your organs to glide up and back in towards those lower back ribs And then if you'd like, you can take your hands and either place them across your body on the outside of your ribs or just kind of like chicken wings on the outside of your ribs. And you're going to again find your inhale and this time we're gonna focus our attention on the side of the ribs expand, expanding nice and wide to the side or the front and back of the room. And as you exhale, those ribs wrap and hug your spine. So we have a breath in to expand widthwise. And an exhale to draw those ribs in a hug back in towards our midline. We have an inhale to get nice and wide and full through those ribs. And we have an exhale to hug those ribs in. And now let's see if we can sense our breath in the top part of our container, our torso. So bring your hands up to just the top of your shoulders for me. And when you're ready to find your inhale, see if you can sense your lungs moving up behind your collarbones. And as you exhale, your lungs gently retract and retreat behind your collarbones and move downward. We inhale and those lungs just gently rise up above your um, collarbones. And we exhale and your rib, or excuse me, your lungs gently move down behind your collarbones. And just take a few more on your own time. And then just allow your arms to go back to wherever is comfortable and you can kind of reshuffle if you need to. And notice where you're at, check back in with the weight of your pelvis and the weight of your ribs and the weight of your head and notice any changes that have maybe happened as we've focused on our breathing. And then once again, placing your attention on your head, you're gonna just gently allow your head to fall to one side and then recover it back to midline. See if you can really just have a sense of fall and recovery. Alternating sides, fall and recovery and fall and recover the weight of it and fall and recover. Good. Shift your attention to your pelvis for me. And as you give me an exhale, see if you can just gently widen and flatten your lower back towards the floor as your pubic bone scoops up. And then inhale, release that pelvis back to a nice horizontal place. Again, we have an exhale to scoop and widen and an inhale to release. Exhale to scoop and widen and inhale to release and exhale, scoop that pelvis and release, good. See if you can keep your pelvis nice and heavy. And we're going to go into a little bit of mobility in the hips. So pick a side and that leg is just gonna gently fall away from midline. You will come to the outer pinky edge of your foot and then gently bring that leg back 
to where it came from. Let's stay on one side. Allow that leg to fall away from midline without disrupting the weight of your ribs, pelvis, and head. Keep your main body weights heavy as you allow your leg to gently fall away from midline and move back towards midline. Again, falling away and returning. Stay calm and heavy in your three main body weights and move that leg away from midline and bring it back. Let's switch sides. That leg falls away. You might notice differences from one side to the other. That's okay, just keep moving through it. You can make adjustments to make it smaller or bigger in response to the sensations and feedback that you're getting. And allow that leg to fall away. And come back towards center. and fall away and come back towards center started on that leg is just going to slide out nice and long and then it's going to draw back to where it came from see if you can sense the weight of your leg as you gently glide it away keeping your three main body weights nice and heavy and bring it back Send it away and bring it back and send it away and bring it back. Let's switch sides. If you need to readjust, if anything has kind of gotten um, more expanded or more open or more aligned and you need to Acknowledge that by readjusting, go ahead and do so, and then let's switch sides. So take that leg away and bring it back. And take that leg away and return it. Stay connected into your dome foot. That will help you maintain the shape of your leg and draw it back in, stay heavy in your main body weights and send it away. And bring it back in, good. Now returning to the first side, you're gonna roll to the ball of the foot and just float that leg up and articulate through the foot to place the leg back down. Roll to the ball of the foot, float the leg Roll through the ball of the foot and place it down, staying heavy in your torso, ball of the foot, and float, and roll through your foot, and lower one more time, bring that leg up, just hovering, make it effortless, and lower, switch sides, roll to the ball of the foot, and hover, and lower ball of the foot and hover and lower. Again, you're probably noticing differences between the two sides. Just honor those differences and adjust your range of motion. And lower and bring it up and take it down. Good. And then just give me some windshield wipers. So allow your knees to fall to one side and then get heavy through the opposite side of your pelvis to bring your legs back. Allow both knees to fall, anchor the opposite side of your pelvis and bring the legs back. Again, feeling the rocking motion and then the connection to your deep center to return the weight of your legs to home base. and rest. Good. If you need to just reorganize your lower body or take a shimmy or a shake for a moment, go ahead and do that. And then let's shift our attention to our arms. Just float your arms up for me so that you can see them in your line of vision. And we're going to take the arms back just as far as you can go without allowing the back side of your rib cage to unweight itself from the floor. And take the arms back down by your sides. Again, the elbows can be gently rounded like you're hugging a tree 
and take the arms back just as far as you can go without losing the weight of your body, your torso, and take the arms down and take the arms back and take the arms down and just hold with the arms right above you and then we're going to open those arms like we're kind of a um, <laughs> pair of um, loppers or tree trimmers I guess so keeping the elbows rounded and the wrists nice and soft feeling your shoulder blades on the ribs but keeping the ribs nice and heavy just allowing an opening and a closing and one more time opening and closing this time we're going to open the elbows expand through the wrists and stretch through the fingertips and bring those arms back to our center open the elbows stretch through the wrists and fingers and draw towards midline again elbows wrists fingers and return and last one elbows wrists fingers and return and we're going to reverse it so send your fingers away and then still leading with the fingers curve your arms round and hug your tree lead with your fingers to open and curve and hug the tree to come back home and or excuse me fingertips lead to open and curve and hug to close lower your arms by your side and just notice where you're at in your body at this point do you feel like you have more clarity in your pelvis or your ribs or your head or just allow your arms to float do your arms maybe feel lighter that they're able to move with more ease without disrupting your three main body weights or just go ahead and float a leg up again just wiggle around have a bit of play and see if you're able to sense any changes where it's easier to move your limbs if your limbs maybe feel a little bit lighter and your torso feels a little bit heavier and then just come to whatever feels like a comfortable resting place and we will call it good for today. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed exploring your three main body weights with some limb articulation a bit more. If you have any questions about any of it, please feel free to leave me a comment below and I will be happy to get back to you. Otherwise, take care and bye for now. See you next week.